Hey YouTube, it's Mitch. Today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 best tweaks released so far in 2013. I'm going to be calling this the best of 2013. And that tweak you just saw me use right there is called Atom, A-T-O-M. And it's an unlock tweak. You see you got six different apps here, three on each side, and you're unlocking the center. You can change these to be whatever you want them to be. Let me show you the settings inside here. That's what it looks like on the lock screen. All right, here we got the top left, top right, top middle, and then so forth, and you can change it to be whatever. Like right now, I got the top left to be Cydia. If I wanted to change that to Compass, I simply would just do that. And now when I go back to unlock, Compass will be at the top left. And you do, do, do not have to respring. That one is Adam, and I'm pretty sure it's $1.99. Next is called VLOX. VLOX is probably one of the most anticipated tweaks of the year. And it's it does a lot of different awesome things. Let me show you the settings first up. In here you got VLOX. And inside here, you've got a guide you can read. Um, what it does, it allows you to open applications simply by swiping up and down on them. All right, here's the settings. Take it, for example. If I swipe down, you see I get these toggles that come up. Now, your toggles will look a little bit different because I have these themed. I did download a theme for VLOX. Uh, icon toggles and they look a little bit different than that okay same thing for music if you swipe down or you can swipe up either one to get your music controls you can swipe up same thing same thing on settings if you swipe up same thing um, and the phone and the mail works the same YouTube doesn't do it safari it does do it let me see if i can get it to work swipe up there you go you get that little block there in the center and you know it's just a lot of different things same thing on the weather icon it pops open you can scroll through and look at your weather and on the clock you see here you got no new notifications that's what most of them will say you can open your notes and you can create a note inside here and you can just say test hi and hit save and now that will be in your notes whenever you go back out to look for it pretty awesome little tweak guys VLOX and hits uh, I think 199 I'll have the prices and everything in the description below emphasize this is by Ryan Patrich and when it first came out, it was free. However, I think now it's in Big Boss, maybe for $1.99. Uh, it was in his repo when he first was releasing it for free. However, I think that has changed. You can change the color of all of your apps. Here you see you got default, and I got it on app default. If I wanted to change that to orange, now you see up here at the top, all that changes. If you can change all of them if you want to change them all at one time or you can customize each app at one time by going in here and say we want to just change the um, app store right here and I've got it to orange let's change it to something wild so let's say scarlet red so now when we go to the app store we're going to pop up and it'll be red at the top and that's what VLOX does and it's I'm sorry emphasize and it just changes the different colors of your apps one of the most awesome tweaks I enjoy is one called notes tweak and this is $1.99 and what it does it allows you to order your notes by title date and upload them to Dropbox and do all sorts of different things so if you go in here to notes let me make sure nothing revealing is on here and what I like about it most you can if you have several different notes listed down through here um, let's add a couple 
And I'm just goofing off. Okay, now you see I've got three of them. Now, if I want to make my priority to where it's always at the top, I just use that little star right there. And now when I go back out to my notes, it's going to be at the top with a little star beside it, letting me know that that's an important note. And I want to keep it at the top where I can get to it. Pretty awesome tweak, guys. I really enjoy using it. It adds a whole lot of, of uh, much-needed features to your notes app. Up next is called multi-dock. You see down here at the bottom, I have two rows of icons. I have eight icons. Okay, I can make that be whatever I want it to be. Right here you see rows. I got set to two. It'll go all the way up to five. And I can have as many as 15 icons in each row. But if you did that, you wouldn't be able to see them. So I think two rows with four icons in each one looks nice. See, when I swipe, those two bottom rows don't move. That's called multi-dock, and it's in the big boss, I'm pretty sure. Uh, up next, called Live Wire. Live Wire is just a f cool way to unlock your device. This is a free, a free tweak. And let me show you where it is here. Right here we go. It's by Hashbang Productions, and it is free, and it's in Big Boss, and it's compatible iOS 5 to 612, and it adds a split right down the middle. That's how I'm getting those barn door like See how it splits right down the middle? That's coming from LiveWire, okay? So if you like that, you can grab that for free. Another awesome tweak is called Active Dock. And you probably can't see this. I'm going to try to turn it down. The brightness to where maybe it will show up a little bit better. Down here at the bottom, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's there's little uh, indicators under the apps that are open. So if I close, let's let's close YouTube. Okay, now YouTube's closed. There shouldn't be an indicator under YouTube, and there's not. I've opened Safari, and I've opened Mail, and I've opened the phone. You see they got the little white indicator under them. Okay, when I open YouTube, let's let it open up. Now once it opens, now when we go back out, it'll have a little indicator under it. Now you see it's got a little indicator under there, a little white indicator. And also, if you receive a message while... Um, Active Dock is in, enabled. Uh, let me see if I can send myself a message. It will bounce until you answer it. Okay? And you see right there my messages app is bouncing. Now it will do that until I check it. Okay? Now you can set that to be different if you want it to be different. Just go find Active Dock. And you see I've got the bounce on launch. If you want it to bounce when you launch a application, you can do that. However, I've just got it to bounce when we get a notification. And you can set it to bounce. Bounce every never constant 30 seconds, one minute or whatever. To me, you know, constant is just too much. 30 seconds is enough. But that's a pretty cool way to get your attention called Active Dock. Okay, if you notice that my uh, springboard is a little bouncier than normal when I open the settings app or any of the other applications you might have noticed, Cydia, you know, they just sort of pop up a little faster. That's coming from Hook's Law, H-O-O-K-S-L-A-W. Now, Hook's Law has a percent sign in front of it, so be sure when you search for it in Cydia that you type that percent sign in there or you won't be able to find it. And let me show you what I mean. Tap your percent sign. Right there's Hook's Law. Right there. All right. Last but not least is called Auto App Updater. This updates your apps however you want it to. And right here it is, Auto App Updater. I've got it enabled to update every day. 
when I'm on Wi-Fi only, and you can set it to only update when you're connected to uh, AC, but I don't have that enabled. And you can postpone it to update during the, while the phone is asleep. And I do have that set. And you can set when you want it, the battery level. I don't want it to update below 40%. And there's certain apps in here that I don't want updated, such as Banana Kong. I have a special version of it that I have cracked that I don't want updated. So I have it turned on as well as Joe Danger. I don't want it updated. The rest of them in there can update and it but doesn't matter. But that's called Auto App Updater. I'll have everything you need below. You see we got the little lock here and we've also got some other apps along the way here. If we swipe up here to, to the YouTube icon it will automatically open our YouTube app. And that's one of the nice things that I really enjoy about this. Uh, if we go into the settings here, I'll show you what some of these look like as well. And first of all, uh, go down to Jelly Lock. Okay. You know you got Enable, of course. Here you got some themes. Uh, you got four different themes. Default, iOS, black and white. Default. Um, I'll show you what the black looks like really doesn't take all that long. It don't require a respring. You see it just makes the uh, icon black and the others as well. But I prefer the iOS. But uh, anyway, going on down the line, here's the app shortcuts right here. If we tap that, you see we have three icons or shortcuts. We can one, two, and three. And I've already got those set. Actually, I only use two of them. Um, so if we set the third one to, let's say, calculator, now when we go back out, we'll have three up there. Okay, now you see we got YouTube, Cydia, and calculator. And if we swipe over here to the camera, it's going to open our camera app right up front with us too. But it does a whole lot of different things, guys. It's a pretty cool tweak, and it's free. But you will have to add a new repo to download this. It's not in one of the native repos. But uh, you can you got some other things, like you can change the size or which side the camera uh, icon is on, uh, the opacity, and you can actually make it vibrate when you slide or touch it. There's just several different things, and I won't go into everything. I'll leave some stuff for you guys to figure out on your own. But like I said, I'll have that repo link in the description. Uh, Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave and like the video. And we also would really appreciate if you would share this on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, keep coming back.